We want to talk about your friend, George Galloway, who uh, unfortunately was defeated by Labour in Rochdale, the BBC. Veteran left winger George Galloway has lost the Rochdale seat he won only four months ago in a stunning by-election victory. The Workers' Party of Britain founder did not attend the count at Rochdale Le Leisure Center to hear the general election result. I almost said leisure. You guys probably say it leisure, right? Leisure Center. Yeah. Leisure Center. That's right. Of course. Uh, I, yep, indeed. That's uh, classy. There is no, there is no such word as leisure. Leisure. Yeah, I know. That's a, that's a dumb American <laughs> thing. Uh, <laughs> Labor's Paul Walk a political journalist, won with 13,027 votes as Mr. Galloway secured 11,587. These are all just extremely low turnout races, it seems. Uh, Reforms UK's uh, Michael Howard came in third with 6,773. It was a huge turnaround from Mr. Galloway's landslide by-election victory when he tapped into anger about Labour's stance on the conflict in Gaza to win by more than 6,000 votes. That's what was so shocking to me, is that he won by such a landslide last yeah. time. I thought, Labour's going to surge here, so they'll probably cut into that margin, but it, it never occurred to me that he would actually lose. Uh, his campaign in February was hugely boosted by Labour's decision to withdraw support for its candidate, Azar Ali, over remarks widely alleged to be anti-Semitic. After his victory earlier this year, Mr. Galloway said, Keir Starmer and Rishi Sunak are two cheeks of the same backside. There you go. You had to quote down. And they both got well and truly spanked. Mr. Galloway was a Labour MP until 2003 before sitting in the Commons as an independent and respect party MP for three constituencies between 03 and 2015. Here's a video that uh, your friend uh, George Galloway put out uh, saying farewell for now, basically, but not farewell for good. Well, as I leave Rochdale today, what a heavy heart, I must say. Uh, I invite you to look at this room because this was a very historic room. This is where it all started in the smoking room canteen of my friends. Everything that we achieved here in Rochdale came from this. We built a movement of many thousands of people in Rochdale, in Oldham, in Bury, uh, and throughout Greater Manchester. So although it all started here, it isn't ending here. We are going to open a Workers' Party office in Rochdale. We want to call it Greater Rochdale, actually, because we're going to bring in Oldham. You know, it's so much of Rochdale goes into all them, even our postcode. This is the heart of the region, and we are going to build a base here from which future victories will be mounted. So to all my friends, and they know who they are, I don't have to name them. Although I'm leaving now, it's not au revoir, it's a bientôt. Until the next time, which will be soon. So go ahead, Ian. You said uh, he broke yeah. some news today on his show about plans to partner up with Jeremy Corbyn, which I understand he's done in the past. But do you want to yeah. tell us what he said this afternoon? Well, he just said this evening, look, you know, he just said that he, he talked to Jeremy Cor Corbyn uh, the other night and he said, I just want all the independents out there to get together, just to be united under whatever that whatever that banner will be. And Jeremy Corbyn heads it up and he's the leader. Uh, because the, 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 we need change. We need real change, tangible change, not smoke and mirrors and all the marketing stuff that, that goes on. And, you know, and George, you know, George is, George, George is a powerhouse. You know, you've seen him in debates. I mean, I'm, I'm actually very up, personally upset for him. You know, I'm, uh, you know, George, George is uh, rough. George, in his own words, not mine, says, I'm George, I'm, I'm Jeremy Corbyn's older, rougher, tougher <laughs> brother. <laughs> I think it's a brilliant analogy because it's true. You know, you know, uh, Corbyn would get pushed around, has been pushed around by the media and all these smear campaigns on them. And, you know, he's fighting these smears, whereas George Galloway will tell him just to bog off. Um, and if you've got some facts, bring them to the table and we'll debate them. Whereas, you know, um, poor old uh, Jeremy Corbyn is much kinder and softer, unfortunately. Um, I think that's a, I think that's a fair, uh, that's a fair, <laughs> um, ex example of how they, how they both are, but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm upset for George because George has put his heart and soul into this and he's just done so well and he started something, um, and it's sort of been taken away from him and you know, who wouldn't be upset, upset at that, well, but 
But I tell you, but I tell you what, for me, really made me furious. Really made me absolutely furious. And I'm really easy going. I'm not an angry person. I'm not even a little bit angry. You're a gin was, maker. I, <laughs> I have a swig of gin. And everything's yeah. fine. Yeah. This, I'm, I'm not drinking tea here. This is gin. No, <laughs> um, so, in in the debates, you know, I and I say this to everyone and anyone. George Galloway, like him, hate him, loathe him, whatever, you watch him in any debate and he's the man. He's the man. And he was completely excluded from all the debates on TV and in all the hustlings when the you know Sky News, BBC News, Channel 4 News, ITV News in the UK were looking at um, the uh, vote um, for, for the general election. The Workers' Party were never even mentioned, so they were just well, whitewashed. Um, okay, so so explain that because he's the sitting member of Parliament there. Yeah. How how can they exclude him from debate? They were did. there debates they, in that yeah. dish in that county? No, nas national debates on the BBC. So you would have the Reform Party, Nigel Farage. Right. Nigel Farage have no MPs and they have no councillors. So George Galloway's party, the Workers' Party, had a sitting MP and elected councillors. Reform had none. Nigel Farage was in all of the debates. Now, to be fair to Nigel Farage, he's a very good debater. Um, but that's not the point. Um, and if you believe in democracy, those people are oh, bloody George Galloway, I can't stand that man. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, fine, that's fine. But if you believe in democracy, listen to what he's got to say, because you have the right to oppose it. But he's... Uh, uh, uh Hang on. I, th I think you have to uh, explain this for American viewers, because the way we have debates, uh, you might have a debate for this congressional district. What you seem to be describing is that you have debates among the leaders of each party, the even, yeah, the lead, even the if they're not debates. standing. Yeah, the leaders debates. Yeah, the leaders ah, debates. Interesting. The leaders' debates, yeah, the leaders' debates on national TV, on all the main channels, is completely excluded, and not only excluded, not even mentioned. So, do you have debates for the individual seats? Like, would there have been debates no. for George's no. seat? No. no. So no. you have the party no, heads they, represent they, the parties, yeah. and then that stands for and that's all it. of the individual races. There, there will be local. There will be local debates. Well, that's so, my question. Yeah, right. there will be local debate. So George would George was offering all his competitors, if you want to call them that, to a local debate on local issues. But obviously, who's going to debate him? <laughs> right. No one, uh, because they're going to look stupid. So they wouldn't do that. And that's the so same reason. He, so even the Labour candidate who ultimately won yeah. would not debate him. No, not in a million years. Not so this so, might. So we always rail about the insufferable stupidity of Democratic voters. Yeah. Is that why he lost? Is it is it basically the same situation there where your voters are just mindless and they'll do whatever the BBC or whoever represents your your media authorities there well, tell them? The, well, people, or the Labour people, Party, yeah. The people are com people are generally very compliant, aren't they? Um and you know, you know, you're you're engaged in politics, you're in, engaged in social, you know, social events. You want to know what's happening, not just on your locality, but elsewhere, because that can affect your locality. So you 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 have a vested interest in this. But a majority of people have families, come home, work, are not on Twitter and Facebook and social media and YouTube, and they still get their news from the TV and local mm -hmm. radio, mm -hmm. um, and that's it. You know, I, I have these conversations with, with, with some of my friends and they just think I'm insane. <laughs> um, but, you know, here's a really good example of, uh, we'll take George Galloway again, was, um, and, and to his credit, um, uh, Piers Morgan had a show on Murdoch's channel, uh, Talk Radio or Talk TV. Talk TV. And it just didn't yeah, work. Yeah. It just didn't work. He didn't get the ratings. So he's now, um, now he's got a YouTube channel, uh, Piers Morgan Unleashed or no, something, something like that. Yeah. Which, yeah, that, that does well and and that that does very very well so uh, he had george galloway on there for an hour uh, an hour and a bit um a, two weeks ago and it's had seven million views wow. on over all the over all the platforms over all the platforms mm -hmm. combined combined views of over seven million mm -hmm. and if you and i should say to people like or love george galloway and vice versa with piers morgan look at the Listen to the debate and then look at the comments on YouTube. 
And they're all, and I'm not exaggerating, I've checked page after page after page and then given up. They're all pro George Galloway. But George Galloway isn't allowed to have that voice. On social media, people like me and you will look at that out of interest. My mum and dad wouldn't do that. My aunts and uncles wouldn't do that. People in my office don't do that. I only do it because I'm interested. I do it because I'm nosy. And I do it because I've got a little boy who's seven. And I want to know what kind of planet he's going to inherit. And if there's anything I can do to, to make it a little bit better for him, that's why I'm really interested in these things. It's for selfish reasons, you know, for my for myself and, and my little one, if that makes sense. Um, but pe people people still get their – I'm sure it's the same in the States. Well, oh, sure. Yeah. And, and the well, other thing about the internet is, I mean, look, 7 million views on Piers Morgan. That's great. That's worldwide. How many people voted in this election? 35,000 maybe when you add everybody it's together? Tiny. It's yeah. Tiny. It's he tiny. lost by what? 1,500 votes? Yeah, right? 1,400. So, 1,400, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, a YouTube show at 7 million votes, I mean, that's good for the world to be able to see that. But, it, you know, when it comes to how many a race that localized, that how many live there yeah. and how many are going to be looking persuaded right exactly yeah, so that's true so uh hopefully uh you know uh george uh, keeps raising hell i mean i shouldn't say hopefully he will obviously that that's who he is and uh i'm gonna try and get him on right. i did prom promise russell i will get him on i promise he's told me he said to me he will i promise i promise we would love on. it we would absolutely love it we would love um, we would love to have i was thinking about dming him because we we follow each other yeah do it do it do it oh, mention me it. of course yeah do it name drop ian Absolutely. Hells yeah. Please clap.